For even more Atari fun, head over to Atari.io. It's Atari Test. Mousetrap from Coleco for the Atari 2600 game system. Pretty awesome. It's actually not a bad conversion of the arcade game to the 2600. Now, I played the arcade game a lot when it came out. It was one of my favorite games to play in the local arcade I used to go to. Very challenging game. I like the aspect of having doors you can control in the maze. Of course, you had these three different color buttons on the control panel, red, yellow, and blue, to open up the different various doors. Plus, you have the dog button. So when you picked up a bone, you wouldn't just power up like you would in Pac-Man. You could actually save it and actually hit it when you wanted it to power up, which I thought was a really cool game mechanic. I still like playing the arcade game to this day. Anytime I find one in, in, uh, you know, in real life, I tend to drop a quarter in it or whatever and play a few rounds. I absolutely love this game. When it came out for the 2600, I can't remember if I picked this up at a store or if I got it from part of the Columbia House uh, Club. I don't remember exactly where I got my original mousetrap. This is not my original mousetrap. I still own my original cartridge, which is up on the shelf back there. This was a box copy I picked up a few weeks ago in order to make this video. Anyway, the box art's really good. Got a little blemish up here, but oh well. Not bad for a game that's over 40 years old. I like this box when it has the little mouse holding the little piece of, uh, what is that? Dog biscuit? Or, yeah, it looks like a dog biscuit or a bone. Staying on a piece of cheese. That's cool. See the actual arcade game? Some of the things I like about the Coleco box is they put the actual arcade game on the box, which I really like. And of course, on the back. Doesn't show a game screenshot, but it shows the mouse again a little bit larger. Does use the joystick. It's kind of interesting how it controls. You tap the button quick, the fire button, in order to turn into the dog. You hold the button down in order to make the doors swing open and swing close. It's, it's kind of cool. So in the box, we also have, of course, the cartridge. Nice white shell cartridge. You definitely tell a Coleco cartridge when it's thrown into a bunch of other Atari cartridges. They stand out. So if you're looking for Coleco cartridges to collect, these are easy to spot. <laughs> it's a nice, it's, just, it's a nice, a nice label. And I use the arcade marquee font for the labels, which is really nice. Also in the box, you get this little cartridge warranty registration form. That's cool. Let's set this off to the side right there. And of course we have our manual, which is red, white, and black. I like this dog is like, yo cat, what are you doing? <laughs> Let's open it up here. Talks about how to hook it up, hook up your system. Gives like a game description of what the game is. Cheese chomping mouse that dashes around a dangerous maze. How to use the controls, which I just explained. And then your difficulty levels. For left difficulty A, you have smart cats. B is for dumb cats, right is fast cats, and B is slow cats. So I'll play it on B and B. <laughs> and I'll still get chopped. Shows all the different parts in the maze. Got our doors, the bones for the power up, the cat and the mouse. Got our scoring. Eating a cheese, one point. Biting a cat, ten points. Hey, there we go. Clearing the maze, 100 points. As you notice, there's no hawk. There's no bonus items in this. So it's a really scaled-down version of the arcade game to the 2600. But the gameplay is there. It's actually a fun maze game to play. I really do enjoy playing this on my 2600. Now, also in the box, I've got to hold this really cool catalog. I like these catalogs when they come in the boxes of all the different cartridges. That font's different from the one I got, that Zaxxon one. But Donkey Kong, Zenser, Zaxxon, Venture, Smurf, Turbo, Cosmic Avenger, Mousetrap, Ladybug, and Carnival. This is cool. 
I've always liked these Coleco catalogs for the 2600 to advertise these other games that they make. It's really, really nice. Smoif and Toybo. I used to have the homebrew turbo. I don't know what I did with it. I had, I had the box and everything. I made a video. I can't find it. It's not, all, it's not in my stuff. I don't know what I did with it. But anyway, enough of that. Let's plug this cartridge in my old 2600 and uh, give Mousetrap a go. All right, let's give the game a, a run. This is actually a pretty good translation of the arcade game to the 2600. Now there are some differences. I don't have the Hawk in here. You only have the one door that you control by holding down the fire button to get the door to shuttle to one open or close. Uh, to activate the dog, you just hit the fire button real quick and that activates the dog. Don't have the bonuses in here either, which is kind of a bummer. It's a pretty low scoring game to begin with. One point per dot here. So it's going to take a while to round up a, uh, round up a big score. One of the strategies I do is I try to chap the cats or a cat in the center of the maze there, if possible. So I only have just the two cats to contend with. There, oh man, he walked right through the door. He's a ghost cat. There we go. Got him trapped. So I'll chomp these two cats. And I can finish off the the maze. Yeah. Oop. Rough. Come on, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Coming to the center of the maze. Oh, yeah. Sound effects aren't too bad. I also like the animation of the cats. I like how they wiggle their little tails as they walk around. There we go. I trapped them. And the mouse is really well done. It's got the little happy face. Open and close his mouth. Did a pretty good job. Oh, the dog looks cool, too. Oh, yeah. Maze number three. See if I get to a thousand points. Oh, got a cat trap. Awesome. <laughs> you also have the uh, in box in the center of the screen. To teleport yourself to the outside of the screen to the corners to avoid the the hawk so it makes sense since you don't have the hawk there's no reason to have that that in box to warp to one of the four corners oh right when you hit the button it turns to a dog I remember to turn into a dog more often because you only stockpile four bones. Oh, that was close. Ah, oh, trap the kitty. Ha 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 ha. No escape for the kitty. cat in there. There we go. Ha! Go, go, Fido! I don't want to take that. Oh, I got two cats trapped this time. Now, a vintage willy. That's awesome. Ha 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 ha. Makes it much easier with just the one cat running around the maze. Okay, I want to chop the cat. There we go. Get that bone back. Get that bone back. Do 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 do. Get the bone back. Chop him again. Rough. Got 
that bone back. Oh, come here, kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. There we go. <laughs> oh! I got a little too uh, cocky there. And it cost me a mouse. Oh, I got an extra mouse and I died. <laughs> there you go. Take that, cat. Take that, cat. Hey, I broke a thousand points. Awesome. I have a lot of fond memories playing this game in my room, listening to my Buckner and Garcia cassette tape. That had uh, the Mousetrap song on it. That was a really cool album to have. Well, that cassette tape. Anyway, I got 1,069 points. That's Mousetrap from Coleco for the Atari 2600. Thanks for watching.